Hi, this is Lisa. In this access tip video, we're going to talk about views. Every object has multiple views. The two most important views are datasheet view and design view. When we double click a table, we open it in datasheet view. I think they use the word datasheet because it sounds a lot like spreadsheet. And we can tab or press the up or down arrow keys and move through our data. If some of that data changed, if this marketing manager became a vice president, then I could simply type that information directly into the table. So data sheet view is where we work with our data. The second view, though, that I want you to know is design view. One of the easiest ways to go to design view is to right click the tab and choose it from the shortcut menu. In design view, we see the back side of the object. In this case, we see the field names and the data type, the type of data that they contain, also a short description. Notice that the first button on this tab now is also the view button, which will toggle you back and forth between datasheet view and design view. Datasheet view, the button looks like a datasheet, and when you're in datasheet view, the view button looks like a designer's tools, a triangle and a pencil and a ruler there. Of course, you can click the drop down arrow and switch between data sheet view and design view as well, but it's a little bit faster just to click the top part of the button to switch between the two views or do what I consider my favorite technique of right clicking the tab and switching between data sheet view and design view. And design view is a, my preferred way of adding new fields, adding new columns to the data sheet. For example, if we want to keep track of a, a web site address, I might put in the new field name and then choose from this drop down arrow the type of data that that field will store. If it's a website address, I'm going to choose the hyperlink data type, go back to data sheet view, say yes to save the table, and as I tab over to that new column, I've created this new website field. We'll pretend that the website for the very first record is www.ibm.com. That's a common URL and nice and short. For the next one, I'll put in my school's URL, jccc.edu, just as an example. Of course, you can widen or narrow the fields just like you can in Excel or other, other products. But notice that the data that went into this new field website with the hyperlink data type acts like a hyperlink. It's not mere text that we define for all the other fields. So if I click that link, lo and behold, the web page for that particular uh, URL, that web address appears. Back to access. So those are the two views that every single object has and that you'll work with throughout the class. Yes, there are some other views that are not quite as commonly used, such as pivot table and pivot chart view for a table. But every object has a primary view and a design view where you work on its backside and do more definitions to that particular type of object. So it's very important that you be able to quickly switch back and forth between the views, either using the first button here on the home tab or by right clicking the tab and choosing the view that you want to switch to very quickly. Thank you.